chip. Yeah, I'm really that too. Pack it in my pocket like, yeah, I'm doing that too. Uh, I don't mean to act rude. Nose full of blunt saying cleaning up my act soon. Uh. Greetings and welcome to the Tuesday Morning Vodcast podcast. I picked a bad week to stop sniffing glue. Good morning, all you Billy Bumblers out there. I have been sitting on something for about, I don't know, maybe a month now, maybe three or four weeks. Uh, let me just show it to you. I'm not going to hold you in suspense. It's nothing really super exciting. Well, it's a super exciting to me. It's a super exciting. It's super exciting to me because, first of all, tiramisu is my go-to treat. Like, above all cakes, pastries, cookies, pretty much number one, what I would always go to would be tiramisu. I think tiramisu encapsulates so many different flavors. It's a bold and interesting flavor. It combines a lot of elements that you wouldn't expect to work so well as they do together. I also like Twinkie Masu, which is the white trash version. Um, you know, we plan on moving as soon as possible, to be completely honest. I, I want to get up into New England. I miss my friends. Um, you know, to me, they are like family because, as you all know, through Let's Get Racist, I don't have a whole hell of a lot of family. So... I rely on my friends to be my family, and I, I think they, they, those, I think they stepped up as, I wanted to say surrogates, but I don't, I don't know if that's the right word. I'm going to try that tiramisu Ben and Jerry's topped ice cream in just a few minutes, um, meonets. It's actually a form of measurement not found here on this planet, meonets. I can't even begin to explain it in your language, I'm sorry. Uh, but before we t try the ice cream, let's take a look at, that was just my phone falling over. Look at this spoon. This, do you guys have favorite utensils? I know you do. I know some of you do. I know some of you are crazy and you'll look in the drawer and be like, where is it? Where is it? Okay, there it is. Well, for me, it is this very well-balanced spoon. One of the main reasons why I like it so much is that it's a solid piece of metal. Like, it's formed out of one piece. There's no seam anywhere and it's smooth, and there's no sharp edges. And if you had to, it would really insert very easily up your nose or anus should you get something stuck in either of them. I'm sorry, it's too early for that kind of talk. <laughs> hey, I am going to do something this afternoon that I said I wasn't going to do yesterday. Um, I'm going to try the, the uh, vodcast plays. I'm going to play some more scum. What we're going to do is we're going to start with a new character now that I've got my frame rates working and uh, you don't care about any of that. I understand. Um, I think it's fun playing video games and talking about it, but I want to try to put a little bit of a twist on it. My sick and, and, and demented mind is thinking of things that I can overdub over it or, or maybe even create like a little story with it where, you know, the voice of the character, I, doesn't matter. We'll see what I do this afternoon. I have no idea. I don't need to explain this all to you. I'm going to play a video game and you're going to watch me play or not watch me play. I hope you do because I think it's a, I think it's a fun thing to do. I love watching. See, I loved watching people play video games long before watching people play video games was even a thing. I've never been great at video games. There's, there's been a select few games that I'm relatively good at. Uh, Tony Hawk. For example, I could play that till I'm blue in the face. But I had a lot of good friends that were really good at video games growing up, and it was nice to watch them play because they were doing things in video games that I just couldn't do, um, especially fighting or first-person shooter. Anything that's intense and, and, and just constantly under, like, some kind of stress to do something or move or move and aim and shoot, oh, forget about it. <sighs> okay. I always prefer my ice cream melted, um, but I also don't like to melt it in the microwave. I believe it's sacrilegious. 
So I'm going to open this up and hope that with all these lights going this morning. Oh, look at that. I was not quite expecting. Well, yeah, take a look. I can't see it all that well. Actually, I can see it better through the camera than I can through my eyes. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, this is their new line of ice creams. They're doing a shit ton of them, too. There's like eight or ten that they've already announced. And I'm assuming at this point they're only releasing it three at a time, four at a time, because I saw this one, the salted caramel brownie one, which sounds fucking delightful as well. And then there was a uh, a mint one, which I, when I was a kid, I loved mint. Mint was the first, I think I've told you this before, but stop me if you've heard this before. When I was a kid, mint chocolate chip was the exotic flavor to me. Like I'd grown up with vanilla and chocolate, mostly chocolate, because that's all I ate, occasionally strawberry. But there was something appealing about mint. Like whenever you saw a chocolate or vanilla or strawberry, you were expecting one of three colors. And when that bright green came out, um, which I, to be honest, I actually prefer the white. And it's not a racist thing. It's just I, I like white mint chocolate chip ice cream. The, when I saw that green ice cream with the bold black chips, kind of the contrast, just uh, it just stood out to me. And I've always been a huge fan of either massive contrast, unique massive contrast, or subtle contrast. Like when you get two of the same color, but just a few different shades or tints off. I'm going to try to get into this because I can't, I don't, I don't have the time to sit around and just wait for this thing to melt all day. As long as we get a good, good scoop of everything, I think that that's enough to really kind of give us a good feeling towards that's good. That's a good, that is a good spoonful of ice cream. I'm going to eat this, then I'll be right back with my review. Mm. Holy shit. Mmm. I'll have what I'm having, please. Oh. That may be the greatest ice cream I've ever tried in my entire life. Sometimes when things are called things, you expect them to taste one way and they don't. Or they turn out to taste horrible in another way. Putting Ben & Jerry's top tiramisu ice cream into my mouth may have been the fourth or fifth greatest thing that's ever happened in my entire life. No, that's not completely true, but that's a good fucking ice cream, and that motherfucker gets a 10 straight up. Holy shit. I was not expecting so much of what I just got. Um, the mascarpone cheese, the... Uh, you know, the dusting of, of cocoa on top, which was a little more than I expected, um, which was a little more than they needed. But I think if you spread it out, it would be really good. There's the, what is it, lady fingers or what, not lady fingers. <laughs> What's the cake that they use, that they soak in the rum? Is it rum? I don't fucking know how you make a goddamn tiramisu. All I'm saying is that encapsulated all those flavors into my mouth in one time. And that's exactly what I wanted and exactly what I expected. My computer's doing something funky. All right. Well, I'll see you guys later this afternoon. Um, I have some work to do this morning. And after that, we'll play some scum. I'll start you out with the basics. We'll make a character. We'll do a few things, a little crafting at the beginning, and we'll call it a nice short video. I'm trying to keep those around 15 minutes, so if you think they should be longer, just let me know in the comments below. Not of this video, but that video, or if you think they should be shorter, or if you don't think I should do them. But I do want to thank Herbie for uh, posting his opinion, because it did inspire me to want to do another one. So, thanks, brother. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's hard to do when you don't have a lot of room to do. Oh, my God. Oh, dear Lord. How are you guys? <laughs> Thank you guys for stopping by and checking this out. If you guys are loving watching these as much as I'm loving making them, please consider smashing that like button, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit the little bell icon. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. It's amazing. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and take care of each other out there. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Jason Oliveira. Out. Take care.